Welcome to Digging with Deej and my treasure hunting live stream. Tonight's topic will be North versus South, a new series I created to share an ancestor's letters home from the battlefield. This is the fourth episode in the series. Please grab your beverage of choice and sit back and enjoy the show that will begin in approximately one minute. Welcome to Digging with Deej. How is everybody? <coughs> oh my, I have a new member, Underground Buddha. Bobby, thank you. Thank you very much. So, let's see. Let me scroll back. First one in my house was Steve, Starry's Lost and Found. A member. Um, has a live stream on Sundays. Then we got Jimmy Cloak. Welcome back, Jimmy. Mark Thomas, a moderator and a member. Thank you for coming, Mark. Let's see. Papa Rouse, what's in the dirt? Bill, who has a live stream later on tonight, who is also a member. Thank you very much, Bill. Let's see. Still scrolling. Cynthia Swearingen, a member and a moderator also. Welcome back, Cynthia. Still scrolling. Then Bobby, Underground Buddha, who has his own live stream on Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock. I got it written down this time, Bobby. I remembered. <laughs> and is also the co-host for Jersey History Hunter for Audra after my live stream tonight at 7. Let's see. The Bud Files, welcome back. Thank you for coming. Let's see, still scrolling. Paul, American Woodland Relics. 
and Belinda. Welcome back. Paul has a will be starting his live streams back up on Saturdays at 5.30. And I missed the last live stream because I got a call from uh, Chrissy, Outdoorsy Gallo in Canada that I had to take. And by the time I got off the phone, he was done. But I watched the replay. Let's see. It's so hard to keep up with everybody. Woo, it just jumped again. And we've got, there's Belinda. How are you feeling, Belinda? I hope you're doing better. Thank you for coming, you guys. I apologize for not making it last Saturday. I had every intention to be there. <laughs> you know, the best laid plans of mice and men. So um, we have 13 in the house. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys coming. Um, it is a holiday week. Um, I've had so many messages from YouTubers being concerned because they're not getting the viewing time this week that they normally get. People are taking their families on vacation. This is a holiday week. So, and I am going to be going on a road trip this weekend as well. So, anyhow, let me get my notes here so what's new in the last week well i was released from covid jail um i had been exposed to uh somebody with covid at the event so i did the responsible thing and i stayed away from people for 15 days but I got out of COVID jail on Saturday, went to the post office. I've got a few pieces of mail I'm going to open here as well today. And I did some detecting on one of my farm permissions and some gardening while I was in COVID jail. Um, I got some work done on my car. It was time for an oil change. Uh, I mailed out the huge sticker packs that I owed people. I didn't want to send germs in case I did get the vid. So I mailed out any uh, huge sticker packs that I owed anybody. They were mailed last Saturday. Uh, let's see. I haven't been able to see Pam. I had planned to see her last Sunday, but she had plans with family. So that didn't work out. Um, over the last two weeks, I've tried to get caught up on watching other people's channels which is an impossibility it just can't be done i mean in the winter time i'm able to watch more people because i'm not digging and i'm not out detecting than i am during digging season but because i was limited what i could do i took that opportunity to try to watch you know friends and others that support support my channel I think that we can all agree that we missed Nancy last night, Ambient Girl Digs, her live stream last night that was canceled. We love your stream, Nancy. Whoops, and I just dropped, let me just knock that down. I just dropped my notes. And that. Um, I'm not sure why it was canceled. Oh, hi. The Asylum with Mark Miller. I met him at Flash Bash. Welcome, welcome back. Let's see, did I miss anybody else popping in here? I don't think so. Um, I love helping people ID their finds on her live stream. That is such a cool thing that she does on her live stream. So um, if you ever get the chance, she is on at 7 o'clock on Monday nights normally. When she's on, she's on at 7. Um, for some reason, I haven't been getting my notifications So, on, for Spreaker. Uh, my son changed phone carriers, and I'm on his plan. And I don't know if that has something to do with it. I'm not sure. So I missed Gypsy and Amanda Digger de Gaza's podcast last night um treasure vortex hi northern found welcome back uh, 
in that. But um, so, but I texted her and let her know what was going on. Um, I commend everybody who has made our community aware of the loss of our fellow digger, Matthew Tomaney and sharing the great man, father, and fellow treasure hunter that he was. I had the pleasure of meeting Matt and Maddie at uh, the Pound the Ground Adirondack Coast event, and that very, very nice man, and raised a wonderful son. So thank you, everybody, who tried to make people aware. I appreciate that. Um, I didn't feel like I knew him well enough to go and do something like what uh, Relics Radio did. So, but I did listen to part of that podcast. Um, I did watch some of the, Mon the hashtag Monday Digs channels. Um, Shane of Ohio River History. If you go to his community page, he will have an itinerary of the hashtag Monday Night Digs. Um, channels. So I watched as many as I could until I ran out of steam and hit the sack. Um, Cause I did some detecting yesterday, came home, made dinner, you know, watch what I could and then crashed. And then when I woke up at the wee hours of the morning, cause I went to bed early, <laughs> I watched some more. <laughs> so let's see who else is in here. Let's see if I've missed anybody. There's Northern Found. I think I'm caught up. If I have missed you in the chat, please don't be offended. It's not intentional. Oh, thank you, Mark. There, um, there is a memorial fund, a GoFundMe for Matt Tomaney. Mark has put the link in the chat. Yep, yep, Cynthia. Hey, that happens. Hi, Uncle Beep. Hi, JP Lonsonmore. Welcome back, gang. So let's see. Where am I? Some of today, Gypsy of Zero Discrimination did an impromptu live stream, lunchtime live stream today. And I congratulate her in her announcement of going after her top goal of her building her own production company now <coughs> many of you saw the troll in her chat this is happening more and more to people on youtube especially women and something i haven't talked about i have actually had three concerning emails in the last two and a half months this garbage has to stop. Um, if you see something, do something. If you are in chat supporting a person, go the extra mile to report and block the bad actors. You don't have to be a moderator to report or block these individuals. We need to rally and protect the members of our community. We really do, you guys. So, there's that. And I'm going to quick open, I think I got four or five pieces of mail. So, I'm going to quick open these and then we'll start the letters, the antique letters. Okay, this one, it says, by airmail per avion. But it doesn't say where. Hey, Deej, thanks for everything you do for the metal detecting magnet fishing community. I have enclosed some stickers for you for your giveaway. Hope you like them. Thanks again. And I can't read the person's name. I think it's Tony, but I'm not sure. Fun with dirt. So let's open these up. Taped him up real good.
Oh, you sent me a bunch of them. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Fun with dirt. We're going to put one of those in today's sticker giveaway. Where's my stickers? Right there. We'll put the, one of those in right today. Thank you very much, Fun with Dirt. Hi, Javier Garcia. Welcome back. So that's the first one. Then the next one is Can You Dig It? Dawn and Shelly. And I think I won something. I hadn't been to the post office in three weeks, I think. Ooh, they sent me some stickers. What is it? Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I won a dance lanyard. <laughs> I've always wanted one of these. Dan's lanyard, and it's pink. They didn't have purple, but I'll take pink. Okay, is there anything else? Oop, there's something else in there. Whoa! Something just fell on the floor. And a Can You Dig It keychain. Ooh, very nice, Don and Shelly. Thank you so much. Okay, what do we got? I think that's it that's in there. I don't see anything else on the floor. Okay. We got stickers. I told them I was out of their stickers. And I ordered more of mine. I'm going to be sending you some after I get back this weekend. Don and Shelly. So we're adding one of Don and Shelly's in there too. Okay. In the sticker packs. And... Sweet beat, dig, repeat. Deej, we hope you love your Dan's lanyard. Or your Danyard, they said. As much as we love ours. Thank you for watching. We love you, Don and Shelly. Very nice, ladies. Thank you so much. Okay, next one in line is from JHH. Audra. Let's see. Whoa. And I, I owe you stickers too, Audra. I ordered some more because I went through a bunch at the uh, Detect Michigan event. So so we're adding one of Audra's JHH stickers to the sticker pack for today. Very cool. Put those there. Deej, here is a pin. I know it's a little too big for a hat, but thought you might like it. Anyway. Happy hunting, Audra, J-H-H. -H. Very cool. <coughs> oh, that's cool. I'm still going to put it on my hat. I'll find a way to use it. <coughs> put that up here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and the last piece of mail <coughs> is from Bry. Tripwire straight up metal detecting. <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies just cut loose. Uh. Hey, Deej. Stickers and magnets for your giveaway. Thanks for the support, Tripwire. <coughs> and Tripwire has a stream he does called The Vault. Very cool. Put that there. And look at all these stickers and magnets. Whoa. So we're going to put one of his stickers in the sticker giveaway today. Straight up metal detecting. We're going to put that one in. Thank you very much, Bry. Okay. <coughs> Goodness gracious. Sorry, gang. All right. Let's get on with the scheduled show. Okay. Let's see if I've missed anybody else in here. I don't see anybody else. 17 in my house on a holiday week. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, the Siege of Port Hudson. The Civil War Siege of Port Hudson, Louisiana took place March 22, 1863 to July 9, 
1863. And it took place in two parishes in the East Baton Rouge and the East Feliciana Parish parishes in Louisiana. It was the last and final effort for the Union forces to take control of the Mississippi River. The battle was fought on water as well as land. By mid-1863, the forces on each side had decreased because of the losses due to death, injury, and those missing in action. There was a push on both sides to enlist more men. By the end of the Civil War, over 180,000 men of color had joined the fight in which one-third lost their lives. Um, soldiers of color were paid $10 a month, with $3 being deducted for clothing. White soldiers were paid $13 a month, and nothing was deducted for clothing. Um, soldier men of color, if captured, were in more danger than white soldiers. They were not equal by any means. Okay, I'm going to cite a famous abolitionist during the Civil War. Famous abolitionist Frederick Douglass once said, Once, once, let the black man get upon his person the brass letters U.S. Let him get an eagle on his button and a musket on his shoulder and bullets in his pockets. And there is no power on earth which can deny that he has earned the right of citizenship in the United States. Okay. By the end of the Civil War, 620,000 men died in the line of duty, okay? One third of, one third of those, let's see, one third of those being, or one tenth of those being men of color, one tenth of the total. Now, the letters I'm going to read to you did today, I'm going to change some of the words because How can I say this? They're just not appropriate words in, today, in today's world. They're just not appropriate. Okay? So bear with me. Port Hudson, Louisiana, September 5th, 1863. Dear Aunt, I have been thinking whether to write or not, as there is little that would be news to you. So I will write whatever I happen to think about. I suppose you are aware that I was never tamed. Old Nan had a cage, was never tamed. I don't know what that means. Old Nan had a cage, as he thought, sufficiently strong, but woke one fine morning to find the animal gone. But the point that I am trying to get at is that I am in a cage now with a lot of baboons like myself, some of which might get away. I am well aware that would not be doing the fair thing. The keeper comes around often. He generally carries an iron cudgel. I don't know what a cudgel is. C-U-D-G-E-L. In his hand, which he often puts to use. He throws into the cage whatever grub he sees fit. Generally the poorest quality of late. It's salt, horse, and tack now. All this may seem right to some, but it don't to me. When he wants us to perform, he forms us in two ranks after some maneuvers. The word is double quick, the next ready to jump and break your necks. You are nothing but soldiers. But things begin to look favorable now, I think. Shoulder strap power will soon play out. So... I'm assuming he, by that he means they're getting new officers in and they're thinking that they will be treated better as soldiers by these new people coming in. The weather has been quite cool since the 17th. It must be pretty cold up there. I heard from O. Whitehead, 
I think his first name is Oren. Um, and that's one of my descendants from Michigan. Um, a day or two ago, his family were all sick in July. We are under marching orders. It is thought that we, we will either go to blank. They, they couldn't transcribe that word or Baton Rouge. Apples cost 15 cents a piece here. We can't get them at that. In fact, we can't get anything we want with or without money. I managed to get three peaches the other day. We are the only white regiment in the place. There are several colored regiments here, here, away. Our boys continue to dwindle and kick the bucket. We have not more than 250 effective men. Are they drafting much up there? I thought the old biatch would never get married. Martha says she, old wife, has dark hair and eyes round, dark hair and eyes, round features, and is very agreeable. So she must be pretty. Um, tell M.W. that I am obliged for her compliments. Blank. Agree with you, Mary. I think the only way to get home alive is to keep up courage. I think Jehiel, J-E-H-I-A-L. Jehiel has abused the sled. He should have kept it blanketed. I wish I was there to build another. Has Oliver gotten his fence done? I have not heard from Elam, have you? I would send for a barrel or two of potatoes, but I can't tell where we will be a week from now. I hope you will all have a good time this winter. WVS. <coughs> Markopedia. <laughs> what is that? Markopedia. Apparently some words never change. A cudgel is a short, thick stick used as a weapon. Okay, thank you, Mark. I forgot to look that up. That's the first letter. Okay, Port Hudson, Louisiana, November 1st, 1863. Dear Father, as I am about half sick, you will have to excuse me for writing you a short letter. Okay, oh, I see new comments. All right. Um, you wanted me in your last letter to give you a description of the country. The land here on this side of the river is about 40 feet higher than that of the other shore. I think it is the same as the table lands of Texas. The face of the country is level with an occasional ravine. I think it was originally prairie and timber, about half of each. The principal timber is magnolia. The soil is very strong. It, it used to produce great crops, but now it is only covered with a rank growth of weeds. The other side of the river is low like all the rest of lower Louisiana. I would try and give you a better description of the country if I felt like it. There is not much to write. Right. There's not much to write. There is 17 Negro reg regiments here and more getting up. I hope they will make a soldier out of every able Niger, for I think they will be a curse to the country in any other place. We had a hard storm of wind and rain a few days since, which knocked down most of our tents. Since we have been shot up in this place, we cannot hear nor see much, if any, and if anything will make one tired of soldiering. This will, for what you see one day, you see the next, and no more. A large apple costs 15 cents, a pound of potatoes costs 10 cents, and hard to get at these prices. There is speculation going on in the army from the highest officer down to the privates. But the longest pole knocks the persimmons and the privates are the victims. I think that was not transcribed correctly. Persimmons. 
And I think it is true that this rebellion might have been put down a year ago if our officers had put forth the energy against the rebellion that they have in making money. I send and close $10. I remain your affectionate son, W.B. Smith. Okay, thank you so much, Mark the Berg Hunter. Don't work too hard, dude. Hi, Green Gardener. Welcome back. Hi, Venture Delo, Cal, Zan. Welcome back. Can you dig it? Don and Shelly, welcome back. Let's see if I've missed anybody else while I was reading. I don't think so. Whoop. I might have. Adventures with Sonic and Friends. Welcome back. Can you dig it, Donna Shelley's our members too. Thank you so much, ladies. And I think I'm caught up on everybody. Green Gardener, Venture to Low, Sonic. Hi, Scott, can do veteran. Welcome back. All right. Um, so there's that one. Port Hudson, Louisiana, November 30th, 1863. Dear Aunt, quite likely my letter has never reached you. Whether it has or not, I will write now to let you hear the news if you have not already heard it. I am well and enjoying myself as well as circumstances will permit. Yesterday was the coldest day I ever saw in the South, and last night the water froze to the depth of two inches in a wash dish but it did not freeze more than a quarter of an inch in a barrel with one head out i don't know what that means um you may think strange when i tell you that the weather affected us on review yesterday as bad as the coldest days in the north ah tripwire i just opened your mail there's tripwire straight up metal detecting thank you for the stickers and magnets thank you and I put one of your stickers in my sticker pack giveaway tonight. Okay, uh, where was I? So it says, um, you may think strange when I tell you that the weather affected us on review yesterday as bad as the coldest days in the north. There is five tents in the company and we have had a fire in each tent and we don't get far from the fire unless on duty. Our cavalry, who are doing picket duty around this place, had a fight and a foot race with some Reb cavalry this afternoon. I have not heard the particulars, only that we lost 26 men out of 32, were surprised and taken prisoners. There is not much to write you. I had a letter from Pulaski and his wife yesterday. He says that he was one of the lucky ones that were drafted but he paid the $300 and excused himself. Back during the Civil War, if you were drafted and you didn't want to go, if you paid $300, you could pay $300 to have someone else go in your place. All right. Um, and excused himself. I also had a letter from Asa. He is not going home this fall. That is my ancestor that went to the gold rush. He is not going home this fall, but has concluded to winter in California and come home in the spring. He says the weather is too hot there to suit him. Chance, hush. Otis was about selling, Otis was about selling the grocery and ranch let us know how the weather is up there. Here's luck to all from your affectionate nephew, W.V. Smith. Let's see. Jeff's Obsessions. Jeff's in my house. Hi, Jeff. How are you doing? He's just recovering from COVID. Thank you for coming to the live stream. I appreciate that. Um, Port Hudson, Louisiana, January 7th, 1864. Now, this is after that battle of Port Hudson, well after it. 
But because the Union troops took control, they're there holding the fort. Hi, Dennis, DF Digger. Okay. Dear sister, your very acceptable letter came to hand some time ago, but I have neglected answering it before for the reason that I have been sick and I'm not entirely well yet, but I am gaining. The holidays passed off very dull with us here. Our dinners were nothing more than Uncle Sam furnished us, which you know would be, but it is, but it is of no use to find fault for we are well used to disappointment. Disappointment, let what will come. The weather has been very cold since New Year's and on the night of the 5th, snow fell to the depth of three inches in Louisiana. And it stays with us yet. Think of it, a sleigh ride in Louisiana. <laughs> a very uncommon thing, but I saw an officer yesterday with a rig of his own manufacture taking a sleigh ride, which looked quite north-like. I am in hopes the cold weather will freeze the rubs to submission. We are quite comfortable here in our quarters. We have little or no duty to do excepting keeping up fires for each tent. Keeping up fires for each tent has a fire. We are very well satisfied here as far as comfort is concerned when we think of the unlucky ones who are out in the field. Pulaski wanted to know when my time would ex expire, when he would be shipped home. I can't say positive. If I stay in the service three years, my time will be out one year from the first of next March. But if I am mustered out with the regiment, I will get out of soldiering by the last of August next. Pulaski says he was one of the lucky ones that was drafted, and in his circumstances, I can't blame him for not soldiering. It is quite likely that if I had been a married man, I never should have been a soldier. Not but what it is every man's duty to stand by his country in time of need. But as long as there are enough to go who have no families, I think it should be so. I will answer Pulaski's letter before long. I am your well-wishing brother, W.V. Smith, right soon. <clears throat> Last letter. Dear Aunt, it is with sorrow. This is January 31st, 1864, Port Hudson, Louisiana. Dear Aunt, it is with sorrow I write to you. Your letter announcing the death of Elijah was so unexpected to me. But he has gone the way of all the world, and I can only sympathize with you feeling the loss of a true friend, for he has been a friend to me. You spoke of returning to the East in the fall. I hope you will, for believe you will be more contented, contented in your native home. You may leave the trunk with Jehiel, J-E-H-I-A-L. I don't know who that is. For it would only be a bother to you. I would like to be there to go east with you, but it is not very likely that I will. I have subscribed for Frank Leslie's illustrated newspaper and magazine for a year for you. Directed to Elijah, they were to begin with the new year. The weather was very cold at the beginning of the month. We had about three inches of snow, which was very uncommon for this country. But the weather has been very pleasant since the 15th, and everything is growing nicely. Write as often as you feel like it. I still remain your affectionate nephew, W.V. Smith. So this is towards the end of the Civil War. I mean, I think it went on for another year and a half beyond this. And they had, you know, they had already lost more than half of the, what did I say? 620,000 men between both sides because that by the end of the civil war 620,000 men died serving 
So, hi, Robert and Melissa, Clark's Cove Detecting. Welcome back. See if I missed anybody else in here. Olin Borden, welcome back. Thank you. 22 in my house on a holiday week. Thank you so much. I think I'm caught up. <coughs> so what did you think of that? Anybody have any questions? That had to have been hard to get a letter from home stating that your family member died and you couldn't be there to support your family. That had to have been hard. It was just like uh, my ancestor that went to the gold rush. He, he got a letter stating that his mom was deathly ill and not expected to live. And then he kept waiting for letters to come and it... He didn't hear for almost a year and a half that his mother survived, you know, and he was thinking she had died, you know. So. Thank you, Olin. And then that. So I have a few more. Not very much left to do with the Civil War, but I do have a big book here of letters and documents and i'll see if there's something else that we can i can share with you guys hi shane ohio river history welcome back um i don't know yet venture delo i'm not sure if i'm going yet or not i wanted to, to go for my grandson's benefit because he enjoyed it so much but it's not looking like he's going to be able to go so I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. It just depends on what happens. Um, did anybody? Oh, Michigan Gems. She's out magnet fishing, but she's listening. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. So uh, trying to think. I'm going on a road trip this weekend. And I'm not sure. But I probably won't have a live stream next Tuesday, but I'm not for positive. It depends on how long it takes me to get home Tuesday. Because I'll be leaving early, early Tuesday morning. It just depends on how long it takes me to get home. So. But um, I'm trying to think what else is going on. Um, tonight, after my live stream, I will be releasing doing the early release of this friday's premiere video for my ruby tier members because my ruby tier members they get early release of my videos but it's only going to be available until thursday night because i got to get these released because these were events you know the the video this friday is on the detect michigan uh, third annual spring hunt. So, Michigan Gem says, not really looking at the chat, guys, but I am listening. So, hello to everybody if I'm missing you, but I am magnet fishing. Well, I appreciate you stopping in, Joe. So, Big Fit, Bigfoot Anon is in my house. Wow. Welcome, dude. Let's see. Yep, I had them. Cynthia, I had them. Oh, Cynthia says, asking for prayers for Austrian stacker who has COVID. Oh, no. It's going around a lot, you guys. Um, luckily, what's going around now, the... What is this the fourth variant now isn't it's more contagious but it's not as deadly so but it still kicks your butt talk to paul he'll tell you he said it was the worst five days of his life so and 
he's still not 100% yet. Neither is Belinda. And neither is Jeff. You know, it's taken some time to recover, but it it's nasty stuff. So be safe. Um, I'm wearing a mask when I go inside buildings. So. Let's see. Who else? I think I got caught up with everybody. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing this weekend. I'm going to visit a friend I haven't seen in a while. I think it's been a little less than a year since I've seen them. In that, um, I'm not sure if we're going to do any treasure hunting or not. We'll see. I know that I'm going to be bowling Friday night sometime, <laughs> which I haven't done in a long time. <laughs> so I also want to thank um, Teresa, the treasure hunter. She sent me some short videos and some pictures from this siege of Port Hudson. And I, I, she, the videos she sent were, what do you call it? Vertical. So whenever I went on my messenger and tried to see if I could share them, it chops the picture in half and I could not share them on my stream. Plus, it has her personal information on there, and I didn't want to share that. Michigan Adventures and Beyond, welcome. Thank you for coming to my live stream. I appreciate that. So, anyhow, um, going to get away for a few days. I'm leaving early Friday morning, and I'm coming home. I'm leaving to come home early. What was that? Did you guys hear that? That must have been a truck. Jake breaking or something. But it it rattled the house. <laughs> Did you guys hear that noise? <laughs> oh, Rob FL Thunder. Look. Robster is in my house. Welcome back, Rob. So, it just depends on how long it takes me to get home. I don't know if I'm going to have a live stream Tuesday or not. So, but, oh, my nose itches. This Friday is the premiere video of the Detect Michigan third annual spring hunt where I got to meet uh nicole and jeff of jeff's obsessions and michigan digging his wife nicole i got to meet them i got to meet everything treasure joe and his uh partner in crime alexandra and that so it's it's a fun video and that so i hope you guys enjoy that this friday um I will release it. I will do the early release tonight for my Ruby tier members and that. But then it'll only be available until midnight Thursday night for early release. Cynthia, thank you so much for stopping in. Have a good evening. And that because I'm going to have to schedule it before I leave for you know, the premiere and that. Oh, Country Diggers in my house. Jamie and Tara. Welcome back. She's got some cool things she's been finding dump digging. Yeah, that would be nice, Michigan Adventures and beyond. It's a fun event. It's a fun seated hunt. He puts a lot, he puts a ton of silver in the ground. I mean, you know, not all silver, but the majority of it was silver. Put silver in the ground, tokens in the ground. He puts little treasure chests in the ground. Casey Ewers does a really good job. It's a Facebook group that puts on that event. And my other sponsor, Michigan Metal Detectives, help, helps him with it. 
So it was a fun event. I think I think I dug 18 coins. And some were silver. <laughs> so and had a blast. Got to spend time with Jeff and his wife and and Joe and his girlfriend, Alexandra. So it was a fun, it was a fun weekend. Got to do my SUV camping, worked out just fine. So um and I've got some things coming up. I'm going to be doing some collaborations with Joe, Michigan Gems, and Mini Gems. <laughs> and that. And I'm hoping Outdoorsy Gal O oh, and her hubby, Johnny, just bought a camper <laughs> for camping. And I'm hoping that they're going to be able to come to... A weekend that um, I've got planned later in the fall before I go to England. Bye, Belinda. You have a happy 4th of July, too. So, I'm just kind of playing it by ear, just getting away this weekend. You know, I don't know if we're going to be doing treasure hunting. I kind of think we will do some. But there's going to be some rain where I'm going. So we'll see. But get to see friends I haven't seen in a while. And that'll be fun. Uh, what else is going on? Let's see. What time is it? Ooh, 621. We need to give a sticker pack away. Okay. So everybody, I want you to put in the chat if you have to be willing to give me your mailing address. Otherwise, don't even enter, okay? If I don't hear from you, I think it's 48 hours. Where's my banner? Let me find my banner. If I don't hear from you within 48 hours with your mailing address, you're going to forfeit the giveaway. We don't have, you know, I don't have that kind of time to be hunting down people that won in my live stream you know so you have to be present in the live stream to win okay so let's go back to the comments gary's metal detecting welcome back let's see we're gonna do so if you want to be if you want to have a chance to win the humongous sticker pack, put in the chat, and you're willing to give me your mailing address and name, put in the chat, hashtag, what did I, now I'm trying to remember what it was supposed to be. Let me check. Okay, I see it. Hashtag letters. In capital letters. Okay. So, these are the stickers that I'm going to be giving away tonight. Oops, I didn't send that. Just like this. Hashtag letters. Team Clambake, Bean, and Pick. I thought you guys would be camping. <laughs> First one we're giving away is straight up metal detecting. Tripwire just sent these to me and I opened up his mail tonight. Jersey history hunter. Boom. Boom. Can you dig it? Don and Shelly. Boom. Fun with dirt. Boom. B3 relic recovery. Boom. M.A. Lyman 24. Boom. Detect dig smile. I'm just trying to get that so you can read it. Boom. Mayor videos. Boom. One of my sponsors, MichiganMetalDetectives.com. Boom. Michigan Gems. And I Michigan Gems, I think I'm almost out of your stickers. Boom. Detection connection. Boom. Starry's lost and found. Steve's in the chat. Mudswat, welcome. 
Boom, snorkel pirate. Boom, treasure vixens. And this pack is better because we have, boom, zero discrimination. Detecting with Gypsy and it's a magnet. And then, boom, digging with Deej magnet. Okay, so that's what's in the sticker pack. These will not be mailed out until I get home next week. Okay? Gypsy! Gypsy's in my house! <laughs> hey, girl! I just gave away one of your magnets. <laughs> it's in my sticker pack. Everybody say hi to Gypsy. I don't know if you heard, Gypsy, but I did a little rant about we need to learn to be more kind to one another. And when you see one of your YouTube friends being trolled, you need to do something. You need to report them, black them. If you're willing to be in the chat, you need to be willing to do that. So no matter who it is. Nancy. How are you doing, Nancy? Are you on vacation? Is everything okay? Yes, I need some Treasure Vortex stickers. Yay! Did you hear that? <laughs> Thank you, Gypsy. I love you too, girl. I just saw Nancy. Ambient Girl Diggs in the house too. Oh, Amanda. Amanda Digger Degas in my house. Holy smokes! Fantastic women here, guys. Oh, Teresa Treasure Hunter. Teresa, I don't know if you were in the chat. I couldn't share your videos without sharing your personal information. And your videos are vertical. So on the live stream, it chops them in half. So I couldn't show them. But thank you so much for the historical videos that she sent me she sent me pictures of the battlefield and videos of the battlefield <laughs> mark thomas the ladies are mobbing us <laughs> <coughs> yes everybody be sure to check out gypsy's live stream today the second one where she talks about she is starting her own production company and um, she needs all the help that she can get from all of us friends on YouTube. So it isn't necessarily monetary help. If you can afford to help that way, that's good. But it's not the only way. So the support that we give one another in our treasure hunting family can help all of us achieve our goals if we put our minds to it. There's Don Williams. That's the other half of Can You Dig It, Don and Shelly. Okay, so if you want to be part, if you want a chance to win a humongous sticker pack with also some magnets from Gypsy Zero Discrimination and from me, Put in the chat, where is it? Hashtag letters. I chose that word because I've been reading letters from ancestors of mine who their battlefield letters home from the Civil War. There's Audra, Jersey history hunter in my house. Woohoo! There's Richard, metal detecting Brooklyn in my house. Okay, let's share the screen and see how many we got in there. There's that. That. Okay, we go to the Chrome tab. Giveaway tool. Okay. Oh. 
Let's see how many comments. Let's start collecting comments. Let's see how many we got. We only have eight entries. How many I got in my house? Let's see. We got 30 in the house. If you want a chance to win a humongous sticker pack, put hashtag letters in capital letters, please. And you can be a moderator. It doesn't matter. Gypsy, you too. <laughs> Gypsy just putting hearts in. <laughs> All right, let's go back in there and see. There's 16 in there now out of 30. Well, you got 10 seconds, folks. Five, four, three, two, one. Good luck, everybody. Got 20 entries. Boom. Mark Thomas, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> I got your address, dude, unless you move recently. <laughs> okay, let's stop sharing. Congratulations, Mark. Stop sharing. There we go. We're back. Markage. Congratulations, Mark Thomas. So, Mark, I'll be mailing these out next week when I get home from my road trip, okay? So, we're going to put those right there so they stay together. So, let's see. Some of the people. You heard Cynthia say somebody to put. Thank you, Amanda. Somebody put on the Treasure Hunter's prayer list have a good night amanda thank you so much for coming to the stream i appreciate that so on my world-class treasure hunters prayer list we have matthew tomaney's family who lo we lost a great treasure hunter in matt uh jersey digger uh, Don of Detection Connection, keep him in your thoughts and prayers. He lost his mom last week. Angela of Treasure Vixens is recovering from COVID. Paul and Belinda of American Woodland Relics is recovering from COVID. Jeff, who's in the chat, is recovering. Colin, Heavy Meadow Detector, is recovering from COVID. Patrick, I think Park Rat Pat, I think somebody told me he had it too. Pull tab Pam, keep her in your thoughts and prayers. She's still battling cancer. My digger, buddy. Butch Holcomb had his eye surgery on the 9th of May. But he had to be face down for many, many weeks. And I think two, two weeks ago, he doesn't have to be face down anymore. Um, for detached retina, which Rob FL Thunder knows all about that. Um... But no computer or detecting for some time, they said. And then Dan Burrow's daughter, Sky, who is his five-year-old daughter, who had double hip surgery. And I did mail out a card, and I asked you, my viewers, to mail her cards or possibly teddy bears. So if you need the address to do that, if you haven't done that yet and you need the address, go on my community page and there's a picture of her with the address okay and that so i already shouted out a few people okay so next in line is jersey history hunter your hosts are audra and bobby buddha they're having the share the love stream it's at 7 p.m eastern standard time after mine after them is Flash in Your Pan. Your hosts are Ed, Jesse, Dano, and Rose. 
And tonight is Open Line Tuesday where you can go and join the stream and introduce the channel, your channel to everybody. After that is Papa Rouse, What's in the Dirt? Your hosts are Bill and his co-host, Rob of FL Thunder, who is in here. They're both in here. That's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 p.m. Central, and 6 p.m. Pacific. Wednesday night, Underground Buddha. Your host is Bobby Buddha, who is in the chat. It's at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thursday. Thursday night is Can You Dig It? Dawn and Shelley. Their live stream is at 8 o'clock. Uh, then Friday, Audra has an afternoon video and I have a Friday evening video at six o'clock. And then after me on Friday is Emmy Lyman 24 puts content. Sometimes it's a premiere. Sometimes it's not. Then Saturday, you have American Woodland Relics at 530 p.m. Okay, Dennis, you're in the chat. And then you have DF Digger and Madison Main. And I, are you guys going to put videos up this weekend? Because I didn't see anything when I checked for scheduled things. But they're like between the 7 and 8 o'clock hour, I think. DF Digger, can you put, are you going to have a video this Saturday? You know, maybe not because it's a holiday weekend, guys. But it's sometime between the 7 and 8 o'clock hour. <coughs> F Rob FL Thunder just recovered from COVID. Doing well now. I don't think Pat got it. He just was wore out from the trip, I think. Oh, <laughs> is that a tease? Are you teasing Gypsy now, Rob? <laughs> Rob says, Clearwater Beach should be mobbed for 4th of July weekend, Gypsy. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> okay, then let's see. Sunday, we have, at 9 o'clock, we have Rob FL Thunder has a live stream. His live stream goes... From 9 a.m. until just before 11.30. Then Steve, a member of my channel, Starry's Lost and Found, and Starry Lock. He streams at 9 o'clock also, but he only streams for one hour. Okay? So Steve streams to both of his channels and then does a raid over to Rob's about 10 o'clock and that. Then after Rob is Mayor Videos at 11.30, Marlin and co-host Tripwire. So that's the schedule of events. I don't know if everybody's doing their usual with it being a holiday weekend. I don't know. Well, yeah, it's like free advertising. Rob, I do this every week. You would know that if you were here every week. <laughs> I, try, I try to... Announce as many as I can, okay? Um, I think J.P. Lons and more does a stream. Is it Saturday night or Friday night? Friday night, J.P. J.P.'s bar. And then uh, Mark, who interviewed me. Um, uh, now I'm going to draw a blank on names. Mark, who I met at Flash Bash, um, he streams on Sundays, Sunday afternoons. Okay, JP says his live stream is Saturday night. Um, JP, when does Mark stream? What time Sunday night? Mark Miller. The Asylum with Mark Miller, I think is the name of his channel. He streams on Sunday nights. So check these people out, you know, everybody. There's no such thing as a stranger in my house. You know, just a friend you've yet to meet. And uh, it is 6.39, so I want you guys to have a little bit of an intermission between me and Audra's stream. But as I said, I will do the pre-release 
of the Friday premiere video for my Ruby tier members. I will release that tonight after I get done watching my live streams that follow me. And then Friday, I will change it and it will be a premiere at six o'clock on Friday. So let's do a D-Drade to all of these channels tonight. Got Jersey History Hunter next. We got uh, Flash in Your Pan after Jersey History Hunter. And we got Papa Rouse, What's in the Dirt. Rob says, hit it last night after a club meeting with Denise K and Will. Oh, you guys each want a costume ring? Cool. Very cool. So, what is Marlon in here? Did I not see Marlon come in? Hmm, I don't see him. Hmm, Practical Ken in my house, another member. Very cool. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Ken. So, Gypsy, uh, next week I'll be mailing out my purple stickers to you for your giveaways. Um, for those of you that may have missed Gypsy's live stream today, she has two. The second one is the main one. But she has two live streams because she had to end the first live stream because she, she didn't have a moderator and she had a troll come in the chat. And really upset things, so. Uh, uh, oh, you just spilled the beans, Michigan Gems. <laughs> <coughs> I haven't heard. they ha I haven't heard what their decision was yet, but I invited them, Joe. We're going to be doing a collaboration this fall. I'm not going to say when it is that involves treasure hunting and camping. <laughs> oh, oh, Rob FL Thunder is going big time. He bought his first commercial lighting. Yeah, you get me the way you get me, folks. I, I can't spend money on stuff like that. <laughs> So let's do a DJ raid over to Jersey History Hunter. Thank you, everybody, for taking the time on a holiday week to come visit. <laughs> there, Joe says, sorry, DJ, I got a big mouth. What can I say? <laughs> Here, I'm trying to keep it a secret. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Nancy. I hope you're feeling all right, Nancy. I'm not sure. I'm I'm hoping you were just on vacation and that's why you're canceled. So anyhow, everybody have a great holiday week. And let's not forget the reason for the 4th of July. It is the anniversary of when our country gained independence. So everyone have a safe holiday weekend and I'll see you over at Jersey History Hunter. Time for a D-Drade. Good night.